in this digital history we present three of the best inventions that help to solve the problems of people and today they are still used. These inventions are steam engine, the car and Archimedes screw. In the 19th century, the Scots loaded onto soldiers their goods from one place to another by dangerous roads, so this was producing them back pains. There was no invention or mechanical machine that could help them load goods without any problem. The Scottish engineer James Watt tried to create a machine to able to solve these types of situations. He discovered that the machine created by Edward Somerset could serve to help Scottish citizens to transport their goods. Although it had its difficulties to create it, James Watt brought great improvements in the machine. Here, the steam is generated in a boiler which was heated by coal a fuel used by a very high energy. The steam produced an expansion stroke in a cylinder by a mechanism consisting of a connecting rod and crank turned into useful mechanical energy to move anything that was connected to the machine. James Watt developed the steam engine but failed to develop the invention enough to help for Scottish transport their goods, having to continue carrying it on their backs. With all this, Mr. Job Stephenson used the steam engine by James Watt and applied it in one of his most famous inventions. He created the steam locomotive device, a means of transport based on the steam. This great invention created a way to transport all imaginable things for boots days all over the world. This story is as one example of the importance of the steam engine for the evolution of great inventions. The steam has been the basis of important invention in technology development. There are other applications with the same importance as the steam turbine necessary for the generation of electricity. In the past, John was just a merchant who had an old horse to carry their product from one village to another to sell their products. So, as it was, was too old and tired. John was concerned about the team able to buy a younger to replace him. While he was at home, the poor John spent all making ideas for the transportation problem. Then he spent her bed down on the dock and then he physically help to sell his new invention. And in return, it can be used by him. Carl Bell presented his invention. 
it consisted of three wheels to wear it, by mechanical traction. The car steering is realized by the two rack that turns the front wheel. The operation was a two-stroke cylinder operation with petroleum. That moved a connecting rod which at the same time. Connecting rod moved a wheel in horizontal position. Then you are located beside the connecting rod moves the belt transmitting emotion to another gear move via chain that boot rear wheels. To start it, the system is a wheel that moves the connecting rod for actuation. The new engine producing 0.25 horses which is 250 revolution per minute. It was a very light engine from the moment weighing about 100 kg. Archimedes was born in the great city-state of Syracuse on the island of Sicily in approximately 287 before Christ, from 296 to 299. Archimedes was a very small child, and he went to school in Alexandria, Egypt. He studied at the cultural center of the ancient world. One day, Archimedes was studying, and he felt hungry, but his servant told him that the money that his father gives to him was running out. Archimedes needs to earn money to allow him to carry over his studies in Alexandria. Archimedes needed to earn money and went for the war. Then he met a farmer who was worried about drought because he needed water for their harvest. More money when he needed rain, the farmer irrigated their crop with buckets of water from a river that was nearby, which had to be down manually and it cost a lot of effort. The farmer told him about it. Archimedes had an idea for an invention, which was about not talking water from different levels in such a hard way. Water a screw is a mechanical machine that is used to transfer water from one location to another, at different heights as irrigation canals. This machine consists of a screw within a hollow tube. Water is pumped through the interior of a hollow screw. Thereby, turning the screw, the water comes out to the other end. As the shape rotates, the water is moving up with the spiral tube, until it finally spills over the top. It can be operated manually or by a wind mine. And so it was that after several attempts, he succeeded to develop a water screw. After this, the Archimedes screw was successful, and he earned much money to light in Alexandria in the following years. But he always preferred a study, and just got bored of manufacturing it. Archimedes screw was given several uses throughout history. The main use was, and still is, to raise water from one place to another. It's very important that the water screw served as a precedent for water pumps we use today. Archimedes ended his studies and decided to return to his home in Syracuse. When he returned, Syracuse had a war and decided to help as an engineer. <laughs> 